I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. We just got this piano in not too long ago and we are going to be fully rebuilding it. It's a it's a little called Branson Baby Grand about four foot seven which is very very small and uh, and it definitely needs some rebuilding like on a number of levels and it's going to be a full rebuilding so these are my these are my favorite rebuilds your favorite video before and after because it's so dramatic this piano is in such poor condition right now and it's going to be in such great condition after it's so fun to see that transformation it's so satisfying this is a pretty awesome job <laughs> your job yeah you have a good job you got a good job and you get to work with your wife that's right <laughs> so there's the liar uh, it's got I don't know something poking out and sticking out. So all of this, we'll, we'll take all of that apart and rebuild all of that. Those pedals will be beautiful. Rebuild all of that kind of stuff. We have it up on this block here because the, uh, the leg didn't work anymore. Like it's, it's busted. It's broken off. Oh, it's one of these cool six leg ones. Uh, this leg uh, you can see in the back, that leg is broken as well. It's <clears throat> it's only on one of the two legs, which I don't think that can be too good for it. But <laughs> it's holding for now, so <clears throat> that'll need to be that'll need to be totally rebuilt. And we're going to refinish this as well. I should have mentioned that. So cosmetically, this piano's in, it's an F. <laughs> looks like, looks like somebody used it as a, I don't know what that is. Well, it's kind of coming up. I don't know if that's paint or chalk or what. But, yeah, not, not in great condition cosmetically. Let's check it out functionally. Uh, already I can feel wobbly. I don't know, sometimes this, if this isn't on correctly, it'll slide right off. I think that's okay. Doesn't look like it's going to slide off. Although I don't have a, uh, a lip prop here. Usually there's a lip prop that goes right there. I hope we have that. And yeah, look at this plate. I mean, everything is just, it's just filthy and it's ugly. I don't like the texture of that plate. And the soundboard is same thing. It's it's not recognizable that there's wood under that layer of dust. It's so ugly. My hope is I'll have to talk to my plate guy, but uh, I would hope to be able to get that plate to this texture. See if we can do that. Beautiful that is. Check out this plate one more time. It's like it's like rough. I think he'll be able to. Well, I shouldn't speak too soon. He is he is brilliant. But looks like we've got. We'll need to put a new bridge cap on here. We've got cracks. You, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there, that's pretty obvious. Cracks all throughout that base bridge. So we'll, we'll put a new cap there. This bridge, let me put this down. I'm gonna have a look. Ooh, all of this is just so ugly. These dampers are, are ugly, the damper heads. Oh, it looks like we're missing some dampers too. Have a look here. We've got one, two, three holes right there that are supposed to have dampers, but don't. Got some missing strings up here. And all of this, this is, it's just ugly. I mean, look at the 
years of use. Even these screws are ugly. I can't wait to get my hands on this. This is gonna be such a dramatic turnaround. These tuning pins and the, the strings all, all are, are rusted and corroded and just looking terrible. Look at, and look at the hammers down in there and the action. Those old, old hammers, they've been just totally worn away. I mean, that's, that looks like it's decades, literally decades beyond um, useful, it's useful life. They've been worn terribly. Check out these keys. So it looks like these keys have been replaced at one point because I'm guessing this piano probably would have, yeah, certainly. This piano would have had ivory originally. It's from that era. But uh, these are plastic, but but they've been so gashed and worn, and we're, we're going to redo these. And and anyway, yeah, I'm 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 sure of it now that I look at it even closer. I can tell that it's kind of an amateurish job. It's not a it's not a terrible terrible job. I've seen worse, but stuff like this, you can see the the notch. Well, one the notch isn't perfectly beautifully 90 degrees with a crisp corner, but then it also has this little nub at the end here. And then you've got others without crisp corners and, and like this one, if you look straight on at that, the, the, the line of this white key, it kind of starts out straight, but then at the end here, it kind of curves in and then it comes around, you know, so those, these notches are not, they're not super professional. They're not up to your standard. They're not up to our <laughs> standard for sure. Yeah, and those sharps I think just have to be have to be replaced and of course the bushings are, are completely terrible. So we're gonna replace the hammers, the dampers, the strings, the tuning pins, we'll redo the plate, we'll refinish the soundboard, we'll replace the cap, uh, rebuild the trap work, and I guess and I'm probably missing a few things. I think we'll we'll replace the whippins as well. Um I might be missing a couple of other things, but you get the picture. It's gonna be a complete turnaround. through on the video it is a four foot seven that is a very small piano so we've got to keep our our expectations for the end you know at least somewhat tamped down because there's only so much that you can do with a four foot seven but it's gonna be a lot better than that time or we've got tuning loose tuning pin issues which we will when we when we repin it we'll we'll we torque every single pin as we go and ensure that we've got 100 to 120 pounds of torque you, you're really that, that there's a lot of safety factor in there if it's too much torque these tuning pins will actually break off they'll shear as you're as you're twisting it if it's you know up up around 200 uh, pounds of torque or more, even maybe 180 pounds of torque, these pins, as you're tuning it, they will eventually, they'll, they'll little, literally break off and you'll be left with a little stump nub of a tuning pin in the pin block. And if it's too little, if it gets down to 60 or 80, you're probably still okay. You're, you probably still have enough torque that, uh, that it will hold, hold the, the, the string in place. But if it gets down, especially in the bass, if it gets down to, to 20, 30, 40, 
pounds of torque, then that string, there's so much tension on it that it acts as a top where, where you pull the string and the top, you know, winds. That's how it, there, there's just not enough resistance in, in the torque of that pin that the, the string will pull it and it won't, it just won't hold. So uh, 100, 100 to 120 pounds of torque is really a good benchmark for uh, ensuring that on the one hand, you're not so tight that you risk breaking the pin itself, but you're also far, far from that from that 20 or 30 or so number that, that won't even won't even hold. So we're gonna retorque all of those. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing there's probably some of those that are that are a little bit loose maybe. Anyway, kind of a tangent on torque. But uh, this will be a dramatic turnaround. Looking forward to this one.